Hey guys, happy Monday. Hope everybody is doing well out there. Today I wanna to talk about a product, uh, kind of a, an addition to a product that I reviewed way back in 2019. Um, at that time, uh, my channel had uh, fewer than 8,000 subscribers, uh, but I was feeling kind of gutsy. So I reached out to a company called DF Robot and asked if they would let me review their Latte Panda Delta 432. Now that's a single board computer with an Intel uh, processor on it with four gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of onboard eMMC storage and surprisingly uh, they, they, they let me and they actually sent me a review sample and uh, I, I love it I used it for quite a while uh, especially early on in the docker like when I first started doing docker videos that was my docker test machine so here recently uh, the folks at DF robot reached out to me and asked if I would be interested in reviewing the touch screen that goes with uh, the latte panda setup so I said, sure, they sent it over. I've had it for a while. I tested it, it works great. Uh, you do have to download the drivers from DF Robot in order to get the touchscreen to work. But uh, once you do that, uh, it works great. Uh, very, very, very responsive. And overall, the screen looks great. Problem that I have with the with the setup with the Latte Panda and the screen is that there isn't an official case uh, for the two like there is with the Raspberry Pi and the seven inch touchscreen. So it took me a little while to find the parts that I needed online, but luckily there was a creator on Thingiverse who actually created uh, all of the 3D models that I would need to print the parts to make my uh, case for myself uh, within a, just a matter of a few hours. Now, I did have some problems with the print. Uh, the back part of the uh, case for the screen kind of printed thin in a couple of spots, but ultimately it didn't matter because the, uh, the Latte Panda and the case that goes around the Latte Panda will actually cover most of that without any issues. So uh, I, after a couple of little modifications to get things to fit properly, uh, I was able to get all of the cables fed through uh, the back of the case for the screen. Uh, I ended up having to put in some uh, double-sided sticky tape to hold the screen in place properly uh, and, and keep there from being any sort of uh, gaps where if you pressed on it, uh, the screen would rock or anything like that. So I put uh, some, some double-sided sticky tape in there to kind of hold things in place. Once I did that, the screen fit really, really well. Um, and then it was just a matter of uh, finding a way to get the uh, the case for the Latte Panda to stick to the back. And for right now, I'm actually using, uh, again, some double-sided sticky tape, which has caused me a little bit of an issue. But uh, I've got a hard drive uh, on the way that I'm gonna plug into this thing. And then I will seal it up more properly uh, using some kind of temporary glue or something like that. But <clears throat> Uh, having this case available uh, to to facilitate bringing the, case, the 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 screen and the latte panda together really is helpful. So I want to give a shout out to the creator who who, who designed the case for the screen and the latte panda. So now that we've got it all put together and we can see that it turned on, uh, it's kind of nice that we can see the lights flashing through the PLA that I printed it with. I've gone ahead and plugged in uh, a receiver for a mouse and keyboard combo that I've got there. Um, but if we flip the, the device over and take a look at the screen, uh, we can see just how bright the screen is. It looks really, really good. It's also very responsive. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any lag or anything. Uh, when, when you make the touch, there's no uh, perceivable delay uh, when you're using the touch or anything like that. So. Uh, really happy with how that feels. Uh, also the screen, while the camera angle doesn't really show it here because of uh, the moiré effect that we're getting here, we can actually see uh, just how wide uh, uh, of a field of view this thing has got without distorting uh, colors or anything like that. They've got a great panel in here uh, that gives you a really wide viewing angle. So I'm actually really, really happy with the Latte Panda screen. Okay guys, so there is the screen for the Latte Panda. And of course, if you wanna pick one of these up, I will have a, a link down in the description uh, where you can jump over and pick one of these up. Also, I'll have links in the description for the case. Uh, it's actually two different uh, URLs over on Thingiverse for the parts that you'll need to print the case if you wanna do that as well. Um, but definitely check that out if you've got a Latte Panda and you wanna print a case for it, uh, that's actually pretty cool, it was a good time. Uh, kind of one of my first big functional projects that I've done as far as 3D printing is concerned. So um, like I said, all of this will have links in the description down below. While you're down there, there are also some links on ways you can support the channel, whether it's be, uh, becoming a channel member, uh, becoming a patron, uh, coffee, whatever the case may be, there are some links down there that you can check out if you'd like to support the channel that way as well. Uh, of course, all of the links uh, for uh, buying the, the, the Latte Panda or the screen over on Amazon will be affiliate links. Uh, so that's just something to keep in mind there as well. But I think with all that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap things up here. As always, thanks for your time. I always appreciate your support and I'll talk to you in the next video.